Hell yeah, brother. You're on the Please Me Fall on YouTube channel. All right, guys, here we are back at Stadium Super Trucks Nashville. We got a fresh transmission in this bad unit. And here's the deal. Because I qualified last, actually, I didn't get last. I didn't get full last. I got second from last. They inverted the field just like they did in Long Beach. So it worked in our favor. I'll be starting second from first on the grid today. Chuck is hopefully good. They drove around the pits with the new transmission. It's a brand new Turbo 400. So I imagine she's good to go, but we won't know till we're out there. So let's get out there, race our line. I don't feel as prepared as the other drivers because when I went off, you know, I missed quite a few laps and obviously was dealing with the transmission issue. So uh, the best thing I could possibly do today is get behind another driver who knows the course, race with him for a few laps and then, you know, maybe pass him. I don't know, we'll see. So we're starting in second, which is a huge leap. That helps a ton. Hopefully we can capitalize on that. Hopefully our truck is ready to rip. Let's do it. Here we go, boys. Race number one, Nashville. We did not do good qualifying. I'm hoping that we can uh, not suck today, you know? As Maddie always tells me before I go racing, she goes, don't suck today. And that's the goal, is to do good. I will, brother. Got it. Yes, sir. Some of the indie guys are racing. We got some really good drivers today, so. Definitely gotta be on our A game.
and you can see them very, very close in terms of horsepower as Gavin Harlan trying to pick up another one here. Gavin getting all out of it right back behind him. It's Cletus McFarlane, everything locked up. Ben Mayer with the front end locked up. Robert Stout and then Ryan B to get things restarted. Again, Cletus down underneath. Ben Mayer. And looks like Max trying to get out alongside Ben Mayer as well is going to get it done.
absolute best. We talked about it before, third win in this driver in the history of this series. These two up front very, very fast. Third and fourth winning his drivers, in fact. Gavin Harlan right there in the hunt with him as well. Ryan Bede has now gotten around the number 28 of Robert Stout. And still a pretty good gap there back to third place. Cletus McFarland holding off the gang so far. Ryan beat a little wide right there. Stout trying to get underneath him. Looked like it broke the momentum from both of those guys. Here comes Mad Max right alongside. Cletus McFarland sl slams the door on him. Says, not just yet. Amazing run here out of Cletus, by the way. Cletus well off the pace one day ago in qualifying. Five trucks here, nose to tail, as Ryan Beat now takes a look at Mad Max. No change at the front. Gavin Harlan still out front, followed up and pressured by Matty Brattle. Working lap seven of nine. Boy, these first two really driving away now. Cletus just fast enough to really keep this crew back here tight, but not able to track down those first two. Really got the field bunched up. Right there, it looks like the 77 Mad Max trying to stick his nose underneath there. Gets him locked up. Stout tries, Stout gets two. As Mad Max and Cletus got hung up, Stout drove underneath Beat and drove underneath the 77 of Max. Max again using that front fender, that front bumper, and it looks like Ryan Beat's going to feed a little bit back to Max. You lose a position if you lose your hood. Something else to consider there is Max's uh, hood certainly flying around there. Looks like it might stay on there. A little bit of breathing room now, and Max gets back into Ryan Beat. Those guys duking it out back there. Stout trying to find a way around Cletus now. Here comes Stout with a run. Stout trying to get underneath Cletus. Can he make it happen? All the way up beside him, trying to make a little bit of room. Stout might be able to finally get by him. Nobody has been able to do so since Matty Bradham, but Cletus is not going to make it easy, that's for sure. Stout able to now get a fender up on him as they go into turn number two. He tries to turn Stout around. I don't think that was an intentional deal. Good hard racing right there, but Stout gets clear of Cletus. That should open up the door for him to make a run. Cletus with a right front flat. McFarland had a great run, man. What a solid effort out here today.
<laughs> that was some savage racing, but my front end is tore up. Guy left me no room. I got dive bombed, which in all fairness, I dive bombed some people, but I got dive bombed, dive bombed. Just trying to drive my line, just push through it, but I got nosed in the wall pretty good. Woo! I don't think this bad unit has the horsepower my other one did, but its brakes are good, man. It handles good. I just keep getting outran. Well, looks like we're getting last place again, boys. <laughs> Maybe I'll finish one of these races one day. Oh my God, that truck is upside down. Oh no. Oh no, oh. There it hit the wall upside down. Of course, the first thought is, is he okay? You can see the marks right there where he got out into the wall. Oh, he got hit by Max. Did it for Dale, brother. a tire oh we're dialed we're good well what y'all think yeah. she's a little crunched anybody got some duct tape i can borrow come on someone you got some of that baby stroller so much fun i was kind of scared of the track after yesterday because it was so fast but once you're wheel to wheel it's so easy to get comfortable and everyone's doing their thing and it got crazy out there ended up plowing into the wall with the front right which is not ideal but uh could be worse i think she's good to race tomorrow we'll just throw a wheel on it check the alignment and we'll be back at it you guys coming back tomorrow anybody and i got all these great people out here supporting we got last place again that's right it ain't first or last yeah it looks like the wheel's a little further back than Oh yeah, she's done. You'll have that on those big jobs, brother. Shoo wee. Dang, you ain't supposed to have scratches up here. Is he all right? Yeah, he's good. Good, man. That's a, that was a rowdy hit, going cage first into the wall. Yeah. Oh yeah, cage said what? Ain't worried. All right, guys, well, as far as uh, this race goes, this was the most this was the most savage one I've been a part of. There's a lot of tore up trucks and <laughs> suspension on mine. We got some uh, some damage all around the pits, but hey, everybody's good. Oh, that's not that bad. We're gonna toss it in the vise, you know, straighten her out. The guys are already working on the trucks, obviously, as you can see, and we'll be ready to rip tomorrow, but that's it for now. Thanks for watching New for Dale. We'll freaking see you later.